mothers know best? Well, here's a mother who believes so, Hollywood star Nancy Davis. In private life, Mrs. Ronald Reagan. Hello. Tonight you're going to see something totally new to television. But first, meet a young mother who helped make it possible. Sally, I want you to meet Van Johnson, president of the Actors Guild. How do you do? <laughs> well, I have some of those films right here. If you get the light, we'll start, and you tell us what's happening. Ladies and gentlemen, previews such as the one you are about to see are of utmost importance to Hollywood to ascertain the reaction of people like yourselves who influence the opinions of so many others. If you like the picture as much as we hope you will, will you please tell your friends and will you sign the postcards you'll find in the theater lobby after the show. Thank you. On this November 11th, the 21st anniversary of the armistice of World War I, this then is the record of those who said they had no more territorial ambitions. Czechoslovakia annihilated, Albania invaded. Speak English, comrade. Remember, it is about the only freedom you do not have in this town. It's American town. Americans, we have too many freedoms. Out here and go for walks and, and get that fine, cool air on your chest. And go swimming in little pools and... Holy Christ, and where am I? Right From all appearances, this community could be in Iowa. California or Tennessee. The graveyard of the civilization that shot from under us, the world of outmoded ideas. Ha ha, that's very good. Appearances are deceptive. This is not an American town. However, it may be assumed that such a town does exist, shrouded in secrecy and protected by utmost security. Now, let's take a look at a genuine American town and a genuine American. He's proud of his country but prone to take his liberties for granted. Well, he's aware that someone must assume responsibility for those liberties, for our free way of life. Yet, when there's a job to be done, like so many Americans, is apt to ask, why me? I'd uh, like a couple of dozen military marches, please. Yes, sir. Johnny, what happened to you? Nothing, I just changed clothes. You've enlisted. Well, you knew it was going to happen sooner or later. Oh, you look wonderful in that uniform not any better than the rest of us. We all have the same tailor. Say, look, it's 9.30 now, and I got a report at 5.30 in the morning. That gives us eight full hours to do the town, so let's go. But, Johnny, I can't leave yet. Dad isn't coming back tonight. I've got to keep this store open until 10. Miss Dibble, this is war. We're closing the joint right now. Oh. <laughs> I hope you don't mind regret, uh, goddamn regret having that. Yeah, why don't you? I hope you don't mind. The Admiral should have told me not to worry. I thought we settled all that about you and me. It won't stay settled, Case. You're looking blooming. Oh, I'm fine. You been getting any lately? Overtime, you mean? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Get going, you bullwhackers. Through desert heat and dust. Your throats will soon be cut. Handle them, fool. Your head's about to bust. The water when you're thirsty. And all you get to eat is aromatic antelope and sun-baked buffalo meat. You know, the first time I saw you at the graduation, I thought of what Napoleon said when he first met Joseph. What was that? God damn it, you can give this to Sadie Fryer, will you? I, I, I can't give you this. Thank you. That's a lovely knife. Yes, isn't it? George has been using it for years, haven't you, George? Oh, I wish I could think of nice things like that to say. You wouldn't like what I'm thinking now. Uh, you were going to tell me something more about Kansas. Yes, what do you do on Saturday nights for fun here? But even if we don't get paid... God damned, I can never think of a God damned <laughs> time. Who was that? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Well, I've seen him around. Seen him around where? 
Jesus. <laughs> well, as I remember, half of Lebanon takes a bath and the other half gets drunk. And since the only two bathtubs in town, things get kind of exciting around midnight. Kid! Kid! <laughs> Come on, Daisy, make a statement. You haven't got a chance. Why, you dirty... <laughs> Just a minute, this is supposed to be my dance. 